hello guys welcome or welcome back again to my youtube channel if it's your first time here you're welcome my name is Bemi Olatunde and i make videos about my profession which is medical laboratory science and then once in a while i like to drop videos um just basic basic life tips that i feel like i have a little bit of experience and yeah so if you're interested in any of this content please click the subscribe button and join my family guys i know it's been long <laughs> i know it's been long i probably uploaded here but now i would like to say that i'm back and better hopefully and i would start posting more often and have like a posting day a routine and all of that hopefully okay guys so um in today's video i'm going to be talking about nysc so guys i just um had my pop last week a couple of days ago and yeah i'm so happy i'm so happy that i am you know i'm done with nysc and i was just thinking to myself what are the things i actually did you know that made me finish strong um and i you know wrote them down and i'm like okay i'm going to share with you guys so if you're interested to know how you know what you should actually do in your nyc mistakes you should not make during your nyc then definitely keep on watch I'm going to be telling you guys five things five things that you should do or you should not do during your nyc which could help you to really finish on a good note so without further ado let's get into the video nyc year is a very important year of your life as a nigerian because it's more like a transition from childhood to real adulthood so it's it's very important that we make the best out of it so that we don't you know become adults and then our lives are like so frustrating we do not know where we are going so so the first thing i would say you should do during your nyc is get a skill guys get a skill so why do i say this uh, we cannot overemphasize how important it is to get a skill to have a skill something that your hand can do because you don't even know what um the job market might be like when you finish you know you might not be fortunate to get a job or a job that is going to pay you well that you would like but then if you learned a skill during your nyc you could easily monetize that skill now i know some people will be like no i want to have a nine to five or i want to have an official job it is fine everybody to their own like everybody has different choices to make seriously it is okay but then you might not actually have the skill for commercial purposes you might not you know try to monetize it but then sometimes it could save you money let's say you learned how to bake and then um you're having a birthday party um you know that you're not thinking about some fifteen thousand naira to pay to a baker just to get you a cake because you can bake so you probably use about five thousand naira to get your uh, cake items like the materials and then you bake your cake so you might not necessarily do it for you know commercial purposes but you could do it for yourself and in turn you can save money from it and now nyc has made learning a skill so easy because we have this thing called the said skill acquisition and entrepreneurship development so basically you will learn different all kind of skills at a very cheap price so i learned um how to bake sorry i learned how to make fascinators and also um yeah fascinators and bridal design of which um if if not if not because i learned in a registered nyc center i probably pay like hundred thousand naira to learn it but then i learned it for just five thousand naira so it was like literally almost free and then on the pop they were asked to pay 500 naira to get our certificate so i have my certificate and i've learned um how to make fascinators so even if at the moment i might not be using it for commercial purposes but i don't know where life is going to take me later i might it might be a life-saving opportunity for me or if i just want to use fascinators for anything you know for myself i know that i am not looking to book anybody i'm going to do it by myself so i hope that makes sense so it's so the second thing i would like to say is that make contact with people okay so nyc will bring people from all spheres of nigeria together with, with people that are houses you know Ijo. you meet literally every tribe almost every religion because you know that's even one of the purpose of nyc anyways 
so it is very important that you might not necessarily become besties with people but you know just try to be mutual have a mutual and cordial relationship with people because you do not even know where you're going to find yourself like anytime and i feel like nyc is an opportunity for you to meet people from different you know areas of life with different qualifications you know it just brings a lot of people together they might not be useful for you at this moment but later in the future they might be useful just don't be rude to people be nice just be nice it's easy to be nice you know even if you're not nice just try to say hello hi greet people and all of that so that maybe in the future when you're from port Harcourt and then you get a job in lagos you know you might and you don't have a place to stay just imagine and then you made a friend in nyc who is in lagos you can easily call the person oh please can i crash in your house for a day or two maybe for the job interview tea, you know but if you were bad to the person you wouldn't even be able to call that person so yeah it is very important that you are nice to people during your nyc oh third thing i would love to say is that you need to get enough information about your course okay get information about your course it is not when your nyc is finishing in two months you start inquiring okay maybe you know that you want to travel abroad for maybe masters or something and then when nyc is like two months like you're about to finish in just two months time you're beginning to worry you're beginning to do it no start from the beginning because you know nyc is, is like a year program if you start from the beginning you know hopefully you'll be able to get something out at the ending but if you're starting at the ending then know that you're ready to suffer for a while before maybe things begin to work out for you so start making inquiries from your senior colleagues okay what is the pathway of you know your profession do you want to get a job in nigeria do you need to take some exams get those information and start the process that's the most important thing not just getting the information because some people will get the information and then keep the information then when on their personal day they will go and bring out the information no get the information and make use of the information okay if you need to start applying apply don't say because you have not finished your nyc you can't apply apply and let them know the reason okay tell them that okay you have two months you have three months you have four months to be done and if they want you they would wait for you or they would, they would still employ you and even if they don't employ you at least you have experience on you know probably how the interview process goes or how the exam whatever it is but i just want to advise anyone who is in your nyc don't wait until you're passing out months or the months to when you're going to pass out for you to start making inquiries make inquiries from the beginning and then you know start the application process don't say you do not have your nyc and i'm going to give a testimony to this at the end of the video so definitely like watch to the end get all your documents handy okay <laughs> get all your documents handy let's say um you're you're a copper so i think most you you have graduated you know you probably have your certificate and whatever get those get those documents on your phone and upload them to your email because your phone could get missing or stolen at any time but if those documents are your, on your email you have it on the go you can easily download it anywhere you find yourself and um you know print it and submit it for any application okay so now this is going to be me telling you the testimony i said or the reason i said i finished well i'm going to be using this as an example so during christmas you know a lot of us traveled home even though nyc said we shouldn't travel but a lot i know a lot of us coppers traveled home so i traveled home for christmas and i didn't travel with any of my documents because at the time when i was packing i was actually sick so i didn't really have so much strength and you know i didn't put so much thought into my traveling so i just went home because i was sick i didn't carry any documents and then when i got home i saw that there was a even even before i saw vacancies you know when i became well around christmas like i think two or three days to christmas i became well i started going to hospitals to apply for jobs i started you know just applying randomly even though they were not even open and how did i get these documents i got the documents from my email because i have already scanned all my documents on my email so i just went to the nearest business center and printed everything from my email and i was able to submit applications now um there was now an official opening there was an a hospital that actually posted that they needed you know they posted their vacancy and then yeah i just went and i submitted and yeah i was called up for the interview the next day and even at the interview 
I told them that I wasn't done with my NYC that was going to be done in like two months. I had a way to package it. So package yourself. I had a way to package it. I just told them I was going to be done next month. I was ready to work. And guess what? They, you know, I think few days or few months, few weeks, few days to my POP, I was contacted that I should come and start the job. So I have started the job. You know, I, I started the, the whole process before I finished my NYC. So remember when I said apply before you finish. If I probably waited to finish, then maybe I'll still be looking for a job now. But now that I applied before I finished, by God's grace, I have a job. You know, I have a good job as a med lab scientist that I am. And I'm happy about the job. You see, does it make any sense to you? Yeah. So that brings me now to the final point put too much pressure on yourself okay i know it's going to be hard because you might get pressures from home you might get pressures from work it is normal you know when you're finishing your MIT, everybody's beginning to look at you okay what's your plan what do you want to do where are you going you know it is normal actually and you might be getting those pressure from home you might be getting those pressure from yourself from just random people asking you so after MIT, what's next uh, just do your best you know that's just what i'm going to advise just do your best don't be lazy do not be lazy make sure you do what you have to do but then just sit back and pray and just hope and hopefully you get yourself you know a good opportunity or a good start yeah so that's just my advice to any serving copper currently or if you're going for your nyc soon because i know that a new batch of um, core members are going to be i think they are they are mobilized right now they will soon go to camp maybe this month february or march so you know for new core members and all of that you know i would say that that is what you should do and then if you notice i do not talk about saving not because it's not good to save but sometimes you find yourself in situations where you cannot save for instance i was posted to you know where i was posted to during my nyc um i wasn't paid and there was no accommodation there was no accommodation and there wasn't pay and i was on only 33,000 naira. and i stayed in a family house like a coppers fellowship where we had to contribute about 10,000 naira every month so let's just say roughly only 20,000 naira is left after like everything and then i was going to work my transfer money was about 200 naira per day i would eat you know so really there was no option for me to save so it's about that i didn't save during MIT. but if you're in a better situation maybe you have you were posted to a place that will pay you aside from the alawi then you can save okay but i don't want to talk about what i did not do because i'm talking about what i did so that's why i didn't put savings but if you have the opportunity and means to save please save save for the rainy day it's very important okay thank you guys so much for watching like i said i am back now on youtube and i'll be posting more often than not a lot of people have reached out to me asking me hope no problem because i haven't been posting but now yeah i'm going to be posting now you know and thank you so much my subscriber my audience have actually been increasing and increasing even though i was away and i could not i cannot just but just appreciate you guys thank you guys so much i hope we start this journey again on youtube together bye